Hey guys, on this edition of Meet the Wolfpack, I am joined by men's basketball player Malik Haziz. Malik, how has school been going for you so far this semester? It's going pretty well. I mean, first it was a little tough because of the transition of the, um, having to transfer, I guess. But um, now that I'm kind of in the flow of things, it's a lot better. And you're taking computer sciences, correct? Yeah. So how do you balance that and basketball? Because computer sciences is a pretty tough course load, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, kind of when I have some off time, I uh, get up, either it's going to uh, Pace or going to um, the teacher's office hours mm -hmm. and making meetings with them to go see them if I can't go when it normally has it. And, but that's, that's probably how I balance it, just getting help when I need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Making the time. How many courses are you in? Uh, four. Four. And so, what's your favorite course? Uh, the computer programming is probably one of my favorite classes. Okay. So, once you're done university, what would your dream job be? Um, maybe graphics design, or uh, yeah, kind of like something to do with like graphics design, design. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so when, how did you find out about TRU and the Wolfpack when you started looking into university? Um, at first, for being from the States, I kind of didn't know a lot about uh, like uh, schools in Canada. And then when Coach reached out to me um, through phone call, after that I kind of looked into it and I thought it was a pretty, pretty nice school. So your coach actually, he's the one who kind of contacted you first about yeah. coming up to Canada. Mm -hmm. So how did that all work? So he called you and then did you come up here for a visit and see the campus? Um, at the time, no, because it was kind of kind of late. So it's kind of like he called me and then um, let me have about a week, week and a half to make my decision. Oh, and wow. And it was kind of, kind of impulse, but at the time I was like, I might as well go for it. So um, after that then, I called him back and said, hey, I want to sign. He uh, sent me over the paperwork, and then after that, it was kind of a done deal. Holy. So how did TRU find out about you? Because you're from the state. So how did you get recruited? Did he see you at like a competition or um, just from like, your I, coaches back I'm, home? I'm not sure. I think he reached out to my coach, and my coach uh, kind of sent him my information. And then I don't know if he seen me play. Could have, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's pretty cool though. So how has it been transitioning from living in the States to coming here and living in Kamloops? Um, it's, it's not that big of a change. I think the major change is probably the weather. It's a lot more colder out here than it is out there. Yeah. But, um, other than that, like, the money is different, I guess. The, <laughs> we, have, we have $1 bills in the States out here. It's a coin. I mean, I think the funny thing about that is, is and I hate, I, like, I hate a change. Anything under a dollar is kind of like, ass, whatever. Out here, I gotta make sure, because the change is a dollar, so I gotta make sure I keep it yeah. and not really throw it away. Yeah, the, like, loonies are important in toonies. Yeah. Stay out of. Um, so how do you like having snow? Because it's snowing right now in Kamloops. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not bad. Like, I, um, growing up, I wasn't, or in Sacramento, it doesn't snow often. Or it doesn't snow really in the Sacramento area, but this area is probably, like, 20 minute drive where you can get to this one. So I've been around it. So I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Cool to be around. So back home, you're, are your parents pretty supportive of you being here and going to school in Canada? Yeah. I talk to them, if not every day, every other day. And they always want to know how school going, how's basketball going. And yeah. Just checking upon things. Do you think they're going to come up here and see you, see you play at least? Um, hopefully, yeah. yeah. It's just a matter of making, finding time that works with the, with the work schedules and stuff like that. And, yeah. And then when I'm playing where I'm playing at. What about Christmas? Are you going to go back home and see them or are you going to be staying around here? Yeah, I'll be back home for Christmas. So it would be nice. Is Christmas like a big holiday for your family? Um, not necessarily, crew, not really, but we have a, I have a lot of families. Birthdays around that time, so we kind of all celebrate around that time. You know, and so it would be like a big thing. Yeah, that's fun. And then you have two younger sisters. So you can tell me about them a little bit. Um, my... I have one sister, she's uh, 18, she goes, she's a freshman at um, San Jose State, um, she's, I think she's wanting to be, be a, she, wanted, she wants to go into a medical, but I can't remember exactly what she wants to be there. That's cool. And then my other one, she's a junior, and, uh, 
or 11th grade in high school, and um, she's in band. I think she plays the flute. Very cool. Are either of them into sports like you are? Um, yeah, my the sister that goes to San Jose State, she played uh, volleyball and basketball in high school. Oh, sweet. So, sport family. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so going back to the basketball team here, is there one thing that your teammates don't know about you? Uh, probably, uh, I used to be a very like, hardcore gamer. Like, I used to love playing games, but I don't know that. But. <laughs> okay, hardcore gamer. So, what was your favorite game? Uh, maybe uh, Destiny. Okay. A lot, of people, a lot of people hated it, but I had friends that played it and kind of played it all the time. Yeah. It's all right, game. Okay. Um, is there anything else your teammates wouldn't know about you? I like comic books, I don't know. You like, like comic books, okay. I kind of see this past weekend, I kind of, uh, on a road trip where I had a, brought my comics with me, but, and I kind of was reading those, but then I don't know how to do that. Okay, very cool. Um, if you could give one piece of advice to a student from the U.S. looking to come to TRU, what would that piece of advice be? Um, it'd probably be... Be ready to, to work hard. And, uh, stay focused. Stay focused on school, basketball. Know why you're. Remember why you're here. Awesome. Perfect. Well, I will let you go because you're probably super busy with school and basketball. But thank you so much. This has been Meet the Wolf Pack with Malik Haziz.